What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about two iOS 13, 13.2, 13.3, and so on kernel bugs, one of which has been announced and one of which has been released. Now, the caveat is that the one that has been announced, which says it's TFP0, cannot be confirmed at the moment whether it's legitimate or not. So we're going to talk about them because I got many, many questions and we're going to see what we should expect. Now, this developer in here posted a couple of days ago this. What are you thinking about this? And he mentions me, Pound to Own, which is the developer behind the Covered jailbreak and IB Sparks, which is the developer behind the Meridian jailbreak, and he says in here TFP0 jailbreak ADA soon. He posts a video in here, and the video itself shows an iPhone 10 running 13.2.2, and he demonstrates an application which basically gives him TFP0 with the kernel port being hex 26E3F. Now I talked about this with a couple of security researchers like Pound to Own, IB Sparks, Saigusa, and so on, and um, the actual result of the conversations was that there is really no way of proving whether this is fake or not for the moment. Now, I do not believe personally that this is real, because this account has been created just a couple of days ago. But the TFP0 kernel port in here that he provides is basically legitimate according to Saigusa. It is possible to get this value in here as TFP0. Of course, Saigusa also mentioned the fact that this could simply be a jailbroken device with check rain since it's compatible, and there is really no way of telling. However, when I confronted the guy in here about the uh, kernel task port, I told him that it might be too big for a Mac port index, uh, he said that it's not, and IB Sparks confirmed the fact that it is in fact valid, you can indeed get this value for TFP0, but um, that's all we know for the moment, just because this is a valid number in here, doesn't exactly mean that he got TFP0, he says that he does, and of course I don't believe it, but many people told me about it, and many people asked me to, you know, make a video and talk about it and explain and stuff like that, and some of you even started getting mad at me because I don't believe the guy, I do believe that this is fake and you should take it with a grain of salt, even though he says that he is going to provide the exploit soon. He says in here, quote, I will take some time until release, see my previous tweets, but until it's ready, I will provide some video and information about the development progress. I'm actually implementing clean bailouts in order to guarantee more reliability. He says in here that he's going to wait a little bit to clean up his code and then release the exploit, so he has plans to release, but I do not believe that he does have the FP0. Many of you told me, well, why would he lie? Well, I have no idea, but I do not believe it for the moment, and the only reason I'm making this video is so that you know that even though they claim that they have TFP0 for 13.2 and 13.3 and stuff like that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. But yeah, I would recommend you to not believe it for the moment, unless he does provide an exploit, which of course would be pretty cool. Now I told him in here that he should provide a kernel memory read via SSH in order to provide more proof that he does indeed have an exploit. But he said that, quote, I don't mind and I can do it later, but I prefer releasing the exploit soon. So yeah, we're going to wait to see exactly what this is, but Ponte Own believes that this is fake, and he says in here that he will provide more proof soon, which he might, but for the moment, just like Saigusa said, there is really not enough evidence to tell whether this is legitimate or fake, so I would definitely take it with a grain of salt for the moment, especially since there have been many TFP0 fakes in the past. Now, speaking of a real bug that has been released, the uh, Project Zero or Google Project Zero posted in here, quote, insufficient fix for CVE 2019, 6205 means XNU via map copy optimization, which required atomicity, still isn't atomic. And they posted in here a proof of concept, but this cannot be used for a jailbreak. Even though it's a cool bug and it seems that Apple cannot fix something for their life, it's unfortunate but this proof of concept in here cannot be used for a jailbreak as it is because it doesn't provide TFP0 or anything useful for the moment. So yeah, even though it was released and the uh, Twitter account for Project Zero posted about it, that's why I know about it, it's unfortunately not very useful for the jailbreak community for the moment. It is compatible with iOS 13.x but it's unfortunately not TFP0 so nothing we can use for the moment. And about this, yeah, I really hope that I made things clear about this account in here. He has been posting for a couple of days now that he does have TFP0, posted a video, posted a couple of pictures and stuff like that. And as I said, there is really no evidence for the moment to say that it's either real or fake. But I would tend to believe that it's fake because he's not a security researcher that I know of. He's not a security researcher that anybody knows of. And of course, the account is very new. It's been created this month, which hints to the fact that it might be fake. But yeah, I will keep you updated on that. But I really wanted to make a video about this so that people know exactly that this is indeed something sketchy and I wouldn't believe it until we see an actual exploit, even though it has almost 3000 views to this video in here. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out our Jailbreak Central forum in here if you have any jailbreak questions or you need jailbreak help and stuff like that. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out!